I grew up in Los Angeles, California, and my dad was the one who introduced me to basketball. He's been the, my biggest role model in terms of basketball, and uh, my dad really pushed me hard, and um, it was always one of our goals for me to play at a very high level. He, he put the work in, he's invested in getting better, and he did it in, in the summer, and uh, put a lot of extra time on things that we talked about improving, and you know, I think he's uh, seen the results of that with his, with his shooting in particular, just his three-point shooting and his accuracy, those numbers are uh, dramatically better. And, you know, he's always been, uh, for me, a guy with great feel and ability to get in the lane and make plays, and now he's adding, you know, the perimeter shooting dimension to his game also. Something that surprised me in my freshman year was that I, I kind of had a little slump, but I was able to, you know, get out of it and um, I guess exceed some expectations. I didn't think it would happen so fast. I think many people were questioned if I can shoot or not and uh, how consistent I could be. So that was pretty much my goal of the summer was try to become more of a consistent shooter. I, I like him and Cody together and, and that's a really a nice thing, you know, moving forward in the program and uh, you know, to have two sophomores that are playing at the level that they are and I think they'll they'll continue to play well off each other. Definitely an honor to be mentioned among James Harden, he's such a great player and uh, I mean everything he's done for the school is speaks for itself. He's one of the best players in the NBA, but um, I don't know, I really didn't try to match him or anything. It just kind of happened, and I'm just thankful for everything that's uh, happened and turned to success. I just want him to keep playing confidently. You know, my coach gave me that confidence and freedom to, to make plays and, and trust his judgment and his skills, and I hope that we're doing that for him and providing that environment for him. I think he's going to learn how to utilize his teammates better as he continues to develop um, uh, in terms of you know, getting his assist totals higher and, uh, and gaining more confidence in his teammates and we're showing him some, some ways that he can improve that and then just continuing to take everything very personal. As a point guard you're kind of responsible for how the team's going, good and bad. And, uh, so he's got to uh, do that, especially defensively and keep getting better at that end of the floor as well. I think I need to become more consistent. Um, there's many things, other things I can do. Just trying to be more vocal. I'm kind of laid back a little bit. I think it's not always a good trait to have as a point guard. So I think becoming more of a vocal leader on the court and off the court will help uh, create a better bond between me and my teammates. Some of my interests off the court revolves around arts. I like, I love music. I love movies. So I think after basketball. Um, or in basketball, I can, you know, do something with arts um, and something that involves creativity. Uh, at this point of the year, I think the most important goal is to win. It's always been my dream to play in a tournament. Like at the near, I always see teams fighting hard, and it's, this looks like, you know, the best feeling to be able to compete with the best teams in the country. So I think that's my main goal is to try to put my team in the best position to win.